though I'm sure that in a tutorial course or in other places you have seen this uh, way of designing 3D levels or even 2D levels this is applied as well in which for example wait, I, I have here two road pieces that I want to connect together and well maybe they just use here the transform and uh, with this well they try to match it as perfectly as possible and this wouldn't be bad okay this wouldn't like look bad but what if now okay now I want to add a new road piece okay um, so now then I have this one okay I have to rotate it like this I have to check or oh, what rotation should it do this should be minus 90 for example um, and then well I have to go over here and move it down and then adjust it over here and not only this okay but then I have to take a look at how to position it exactly at the position that I want so this does take a lot of time okay not only does it take a lot of time but it is also like not accurate okay because it is most impossible to position it mathematically perfect okay that can lead to these small differences okay in the positions and rotations and this will actually look good in in a game that you would like to sell publish or whatever these things are okay in in a, in a course in a tutorial or something like that because sometimes it is out of the scope but i really wanted to take the time to explain how to do this correctly so first of all what you have to really start using here if i wanted to i don't know make this road longer in reality for example for this specific model i could i believe just use the um, the scale okay and just scale this in maybe something like this and it would work but for example here this this thing over here breaks so it would not be the best thing uh, so if i wanted to duplicate this yes indeed you could do something like this and it would work just fine um but well the best way of doing this is using snapping okay this option over here uh so this is all i as you can see to move in this case one unit okay each time that you actually move as you can see i am translating minus one minus two minus one zero minus one minus two etc and that unit you can actually modify it here under a transform configure snap and as you can see here translate snap one but if i did this i don't know uh, five okay much bigger this would be now modify as you can see now on the bottom left um or you can make it much smaller i know 0.5 and the exact snapping may depend on your exact level design on your models etc okay so now i can connect directly this other road and i can i don't know uh, this one doesn't look quite good but let me find another one that i may want to connect for example this one okay so now i can directly for example go over here and connect this one over here but you may see over here okay what is happening it doesn't look that well okay and i can find it to work properly so this has to do with the other roads i believe because they aren't in the zero position okay they are in c minus zero seven so I, I will actually select both of them put them at zero okay and i will also put this one at zero so when you're using actually snapping the best thing is to when you are positioning a new object to firstly put it at zero zero okay so that you can actually uh, use the snap as you can see because if i know i have this one and i put it uh, over here well now it is using snapping because i have this option on but if i turn this off and i will drag it again okay or, or or other piece i don't really care okay and now i turn on snapping okay as you can see most probably it is not going to align perfectly because their values don't match the snapping so always snap on when you're putting a, a, together a new level okay and then you can directly position these things exactly like this okay so i will move it up then here and here i am connecting the different things and if in this case for example i have these two pieces okay that uh, they don't seem to be uh, matching together but i don't think that it really has to do with the position but with the rotation itself because as you can see even if i move this manually it wouldn't look fine um because i believe that this is something that has to do with this um with this road piece uh yes itself because this road piece is meant to be connected to other type of road piece from all of this so it's not like a problem for us but also take into account that sometimes you may need different measures depending on your models in a translate snap okay uh, so really start using this kind of snapping option because it is going to save you like lots of time lot of effort um and so for example over here another problem that you may have okay i want to put this road piece but i want to rotate it so i know you would be playing around here with the rotation and seeing which value you would use 
but a better way of doing this would be to use the rotate tool that you also have the shortcut E and you can directly rotate it using the snapping once again so there it is the rotation that I need and I can just stick it together and for example over here you see this small gap but it wouldn't make sense so for example checking over here the position of this other one this is in 5 0.488 and this doesn't make sense with the snapping that I set over here so this should most probably be just in this position and there as you can see the gap disappeared and now we have here another problem why this gap we have it over here once again it seems that the snapping that we put over there was not the correct one or I basically positioned this without the snapping okay but this piece is correct so there you can see that everything does make sense that's why whenever you are uh, putting together a menu uh, sorry a level make sure that you have you snap and now you will actually be able to i know uh, let's connect a one that is like i don't know this curve over here that is a straight yes this is a straight over here and then i will put uh, this one for example that i believe they should go together okay for example over here and we can check the transforms and as you can see the values do make sense yes they are correct so for example i can grab this one i can duplicate it with ctrl d and i can directly go ahead over here and add this roll piece right there and you can also using the select mode you also check how their bounding boxes should be mostly like perfectly positioned or quite close to to each other i mean if i look it from up as you can see they do make sense uh, but once again, maybe sometimes you do have to adjust the snapping uh, because in this case, this rope is in a specific has this kind of of blue. I don't know how this is called to be honest, like that kind of blue hole. So it does make sense to hide this blue hole. We don't want this to be over here. So well, for this specific roll piece, uh, this is the snapping that we want. That one is going to be like a little bit um, like this. So let me position this correctly. So it is going to overlap a little bit with the other road piece, okay? So once again, whenever you are designing 3D level, make sure that you play around a little bit with the snapping if you see that some stuff is not correct. And by the way, here you can also see the rotate snap that is 15 degrees. So for example, I get this that is in zero of rotation and I move it one unit, it's going to move, to move 15, okay? But if I made this once again, much bigger i know 90 okay it would be even bigger okay um what else we also have the scale snap okay in this case if we use the scale tool okay there we go okay so there you can see that if if i make this much um much bigger this is in percentage so if the scale is one okay and if I only do it once, it should do to 1.1, as you can see. But well, this is not a lot. So I, for example, will do it to, I know, to 100 instead, which is going to be huge. But just so that you can get the difference. So there we have it. Okay, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Okay, so I hope that you were able to understand how to now design better 3D levels. There are still tools. Um, that will allow you to build your levels even easier than this but well they would require their own coverage in a different video but if you are really interested in that topic let me know in the comments and i will also cover that tool uh, but well this is quite useful for simple prototypes simple games that maybe don't require that kind of complex 3d logic um in in 3d level design so well this is all for this video and i will see you in the next one if you are serious about leveling up your goaded skills check out my course in less than 6 hours, you'll master Godot fundamentals while building this amazing project. Links in the description. See you there.